Hey there, it's Ashley with Grateful Arts and I am painting America and today I am in North Dakota amongst the Kettle Lakes and the Rolling Plains and I want to show you how to paint a scene in North Dakota with a beautiful sunset. Let's get started. All right, so for this first step, I'm just gonna take some of my paint and I'm gonna lay out the composition, okay? So I'm gonna put where I want the sky, where I want the grass and all those things. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this foreground of grasses. Usually I don't start with the foreground, but since my sky is gonna be a major part of this, I just wanna kinda lay down where I want this stuff to go. And I'm gonna go to the next layer and kind of Give it a look of where the grass is gonna lay. It comes in kind of like this and goes up like that. Okay, and then it comes over like this. And this is just the under layer. Comes down, goes back up. Okay, and then I'll have a few things in here in the back. And then this horizon line back here okay and then the rest of this is sky so see how I kind of just gave myself a little inclination of where things are gonna be so now that I know where I want my land shapes to be I can start with the very background which is gonna be the sky so I'm gonna lay down my first color which is going to be a light blue and that gold back there okay the trick to skies is that this is lighter blue down here and then it gets darker when you go up so add a lot of white to your blue and you can mix the color on your canvas and notice how I'm going side to side side to side I'm blending it as I'm doing that so if you look at the clouds you'll see that there's gray in them there's purple in them there's blue in them sometimes there's yellow and orange and pinks in them so you can get really creative with your colors. So be creative with this step and choose the colors you wanna put in your sky. So with clouds that are up higher in the sky, they're gonna get bigger as they come up here, okay? So as you get down here, you're going to make them more spread out and slanted and up here it's gonna be more fluffy, okay? Alright, so I'm just adding white on the tips of these clouds because right underneath them and right on the tips of them, there's white glistening, showing. 
It's shining from the light. So I always grab a new brush and I just add my gold because it's a metallic paint. I don't really want to mix it too much because it loses the metallic. And down here I just blend it a lot more. So what I'm doing right now is I'm putting in the rays, the light rays coming out. And I'm doing what's called a bright dry brush technique. And anything that's too strong, you just can take it off with your brush. Okay. And anything you add over here needs to be added over here somewhere. So now I'm going to add some pink to it. There's pink on the bottom here. Just along the bottoms here and on the outsides. Just make sure you lighten it up and you blend it well. Okay, and then bring that color just very lightly on the tips of these clouds. So it will reflect on the bottom of these clouds. And you can always use your finger to blend things if you'd like. I do that all the time. I'm going to add some more layers, some more colors. Now I need to lighten up where the sun's coming from. And now let's dry some of that metallic paint will show through. It kind of just spreads out like this. I like to get a little yellow in there, bring it down, and then bring a little yellow up. And I'll always add white to it. Okay, so then I add my darkest color right over the sun, and that's because the sun, when it's behind the clouds, is going to make this kind of like a silhouette of the clouds. So make sure you have some water on your brush, just lightly get it in there, and then I like to just use my finger to blend it. Gonna put a circle for the sun. Bright spot right there. Thank you so much for creating with me. I hope you learned a lot about painting the sunset. There is a link in the description below on where you can buy a print for this painting. Thank you, grateful members, for making this video possible, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!